after getting your shit together it gets lonely but focus on growth over company and you will definitely win at life how do i deal with that fomo and that feeling of knowing that everyone else is going to chill and party and hang out and i would be slogging at home we not need aspirants ko kaise samjhaye ki two hours ki value kya hoti hai my life all of the things that i am giving up i have to make all of this worth it Welcome back to my channel. So the topic of today's video is something that is very very close to my heart because it's something that I struggled with a lot personally during my NEET prep and I feel like we really underestimate how crucial a role this plays in your NEET journey and I just feel it's really really important to be mentally stable and in a good place in order to do anything successfully and especially exams. I know that a lot of you would be in a similar space right now and that's why I just really want to help all of you. So the year 2020 and 2021 were very very overwhelming for me in terms of friends. You come to 11th and you all sort of choose your streams. A lot of people that you grew up with and were very close to just kind of drift apart. And that happened with me as well. I did not have anyone in my immediate circle who was preparing for neat as well for an exam like neat the people that you hang out with your company it matters a lot and neat in my opinion is itself a lifestyle and what kind of people you have around you really truly influence your performance when the lockdown happened and covid hit the country i started having like really really bad fights with my friends lockdown especially just made things way worse like there was just so much drama happening all of the time and you know there was just so much misunderstanding because you the only means of communication was online and in november 2020 i lost my daddy and that was something that took a major major toll on me and i kind of just after that distanced myself from everyone and so i just went into a shell and I just saw things out multiple times but they just kept doing the same hurtful things again and again and I felt like no matter how much we talk things out and no matter how much I explain myself and my side to people they just never actually understood or they understood but never cared enough to implement any changes so my circle just kind of kept getting smaller and smaller which i had no problems with those two years made me realize that quality is definitely so much more important than quantity and at this point these problems were so huge in my life that padhai to door door tak kahi thi hi nahi i am a very sensitive person and the people who are close to me i like to keep them very very close and i can honestly do anything for them and that's why yes i think my only mistake is that i do expect the same things in return I lost my akka who was my dance teacher to covid during the second wave and at this point it was all just so much for me it was just i was in such a messed up state of mind i lost my bestest friends my dadi my akka all in a span of one year and it just i was so used to having all of them around that i just could not even imagine that all of this is happening with me for real and i was in just such a confused space issues with my friends also just kept getting worse for i was just angry i i used to think to myself that the people i invested so much time so much energy in you know i could have spent that time and that energy with my dadi and my akka they're just not even there to support me in my toughest times it really affected me so much to think of all the times that I wasted when I could have spent that with people who actually cared about me and I just can't do that anymore. It was when I decided that you know what this is it and I cannot keep letting things slide will just to have them do the same things to me again and again. Drama and toxicity from my friend circle was really holding me back and I realized this when I finally let all of them go and completely started this new chapter and when i saw the changes that this whole thing brought in me i understood that you know what this was really needed 
Uh, in July, I just decided that all of the things that are holding me back just have to be cut out now because I cannot afford to keep being involved in all this drama and toxicity anymore. I have to focus on my career, I have to focus on my goals and I have to focus on what's important at the moment. And it's so funny and strange and I think this is how serious the whole FOMO thing is for people our age that when I deactivated my Instagram, you know, went into hibernation, my biggest concern wasn't कि मैं अपना सिलेबस कैसे फिनिश करूँगी इतना सारा जो मेरे को दो साल का पढ़ना है my biggest concern was actually how will I deal with that FOMO and that feeling of knowing that everyone else is going to chill and party and hang out and I would be slogging at home because that was the time when our boards got cancelled and everyone who was not preparing for NEET or J just went kind of wild <laughs> because obviously they were done with all of their exams most people who were going abroad were, were done with their application processes they were free they were going on trips they were meeting up it was the fear that kept creeping in while i was studying and imagine i was someone who had full attendance in every single party and every occasion no matter how big or small that was and for me that was a very very big thing it took so much will power to completely completely change my life and my personality around especially when every single person from my batch was in their carefree zone even the studios kids it was kind of like the puri duniya ne and pure batch ne finally maze karna shuru kar diya that was when i went into this zone of focusing on studies and my future and in those two months some of my friends were leaving for college and most of them were the ones that i spent the entire year trying to patch things up i kept initiating plans with them in the hopes of mending things the entire year they could care less about that and just when i had decided to really focus on neat and study that was when they decided to meet me and of course they did because they were leaving but it kind of upset me that when i tried to reach out to them they did not bother at all and now they were all like kya farak padta hai ek ghanta hi to nikalna hai itna to koi bhi break le leta hai but the fact was that main bilkul break nahi leti thi and they just couldn't understand that and at the same time another huge thing that happened was that people from my school decided to keep the scribble day उसी टाइम पर एंड स्क्रिबल यू वर समथिंग दैट आई हैड लुक फॉरवर्ड टू सो सो मच एंड वी डिड नॉट इवन गेट अ फेयरवेल बिकॉज ऑफ कोविड सो इट वॉज समथिंग दैट वॉज एक्चुअली वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू मी एंड यू नो द ऑर्गेनाइजर्स दे डिड नॉट इवन थिंक ट्वाइस दे डिड नॉट टेक इन टू कंसिड्रेशन दैट सम पीपल आउट देर आर स्टिल स्टडी एंड देर एनी वे इन सच अ टफ प्लेस लाइक मेंटली एंड द सैडेस्ट थिंग वॉज दैट इट वॉज ऑर्गेनाइज बाय सम ऑफ माई क्लोजेस्ट फ्रेंड्स and i literally begged them to accommodate our wishes and do it in a way that everyone gets to attend it or something but it was sad to see that they just did not care about it and the way they condescendingly said ki 2 ghante to koi bhi padhai se nikal sakta hai and all matlab koi non need aspirants ko kaise samjhaye ki 2 hours ki value kya hoti hai my life mein and in those days i used to not think about hours i used to think about marks for me one hour was equal to at least two or three marks because i could do half a chapter in one hour and that was a huge thing for me only someone who's been in this situation knows the value of time and this is something that actually fueled my desire even more i took all this anger and pain and i channeled it in a way that fully fueled me to keep studying and just not give up at all so this particular thing was something that hurt me so much that even when it was happening i recorded a video of myself talking about it just so that i remember it for the rest of my life and i keep coming back to it to remind myself that you know what i can't give up because i have to prove myself and i have to make all this struggle all of the things that i am ignoring and giving up i have to make all of this 
वॉट इट एंड आई जस्ट हैड दैट इन मी कि अब तो रुकना है ही नहीं अब तो आई हैव टू डू इट बाई होक और बाई क्रोक एंड इट वॉज टफ टू से द लीस्ट इमेजिन प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर वन ऑफ द मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट एग्जाम्स इन द वर्ल्ड एंड बींग फुल्ली कम्प्लीटली अलोन वाइल डूइंग इट एंड उस टाइम पे आई डेंट रियलाइज इट बट नाउ दैट आई लुक बैक आई नो एंड आई बिलीव दैट इट वॉज ऑल डेस्टिंड टू बी दैट वे बिकॉज I wouldn't be the Kangna I am today if I hadn't gone through this phase in those two months, being alone, being by myself, just focusing fully and giving all my time to myself and my family, the people who actually matter. Always remember, guys, it's true. Friends come and go, and if you've found someone who really is there for you unconditionally then you're one of the lucky ones and you should cherish that but family is forever and that's something i realized in those two months because everyone in my family was just so so there for me and that meant the world to me because i really needed it at that time and you know thinking about that time is very overwhelming for me because all of those feelings just come rushing back and i just want you to know that it will all work out and it will be so worth it so please don't worry about the fact that you don't have friends right now dare to be alone dare to be your own cheerleader why do you need anyone else those people left my life but in return i found all of you all a family of 12000 people 12000 friends and in that time i really just hit rock bottom and if i wasn't so hurt and broken i would not be the kangna that i am today and all of that made me remove the word need from my dictionary i don't need anyone i only just need myself my own support my own belief and of course my family and don't be so uncomfortable in being alone that you have to keep going back to people who give you the bare minimum and you only realize that when you have the courage to conquer your biggest battles alone let this be your sign and let my story be an example for you to put an end to all the unnecessary toxicity in your life and just start focusing on you because right now that is all that matters the wisdom and the strength that i've gained through this experience has literally shaped me into the person i am today and it has changed me for the better success can be a lonely road it can be a tough road it's not for everyone it takes courage to walk alone those who fly alone have the strongest wings the others will always be in need of recognition or attention for their survival i'm not saying those who have support are weak I'm not saying you must go at it alone or you won't have strength this is just for those who have fought battles alone those who have felt like they don't fit in you don't need anyone to believe in you if you believe in you show them the way keep going it will all come good in the end and when it does you wouldn't have just inspired yourself you would have inspired so many others i'm proud of who i've become and i'm proud of how far i've come and trust me you can do it too do it so that one day you can be the inspiration as well don't care about the fomo don't care about the parties you're missing just think about that day when all of this struggle and all of the parties you've missed all of it will be worth it and trust you me it will be worth it i have always been transparent about everything with you guys and i wanted to honestly share this entire story with you as well it is really tough to relive all those things again but i knew i had to because i have to be there for my youtube fam thank you so much guys for watching i hope that this video really just helps you more than anything else